hit four for Greece against Finland recently. QPR will remember Mavros, the knocked in two against them in the UEFA Cup two seasons ago. Number seven, Tassos, the Cypriot international, is the winger who feeds the central strikers. Forest manager Brian Clough has received a hostile reception from Greek journalists, but he laid all his cards on the table early today. He sends out the side that put the European champions Liverpool out of the cup with that north. Uh, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Referee gives the advantage to Aik. Argis Oglu. Tends to overdo things when he's on the ball. And tackled too hard by Boya. Mavros. Mavros. Back to Bajevic. Chancing his luck now on wide on both sides. Stopped unfairly by Liv Anderson. Free kick to Aik. Anderson quickly take a free kick to Argizo. Bajevic, again the challenge coming from Anderson. Bajevic had him beaten that time, but checked, so he's got to do it again. And he's done him at last. The ball to Mavros, watch that left foot. Oh, and that so far away. Well, that's the first real shot that's been put in on the target. All the build up from Bajevic. And then Mavros blistering that left foot. Wide off Shilton's far post, but there was a lot of steam in that one. Doris. and a free kick. Captain Nicola has taken and Tassos now. Just skating away from Boya. Couldn't get past Robertson. That's going to start again. Here's Mavros. That left foot. Well, that was the left foot that everybody's been talking about. The left foot. Uh... Robertson fed through for Woodcock. And a shot now for Bertels. That was good goalkeeping by Steriudas. Coming to Bertel's feet then, but a good attack had built up, and I build back through Tassos. Burns, and referee Burns has pointed to the spot, and there's no way that was a penalty, but I have the feeling that the crowd were... ...the Peter Schilt. Two nothing to score at the moment. Two nothing to Forrest. As Tassos prepares to get A.K. back into the game and he's just made it only just a fiercely struck shot to Peter for Masuris uh, Samis Arizoglu Raidic on a run he stops Nikolodis has a look right side nothing there Mavros to Nikolodis good drive great save good bit of football and Nicolodis, the man who got on the end of the pass for Lau is going up to place the ball. The upstretched hand of referee Robert Burks. Greek spectators now standing up all around the field. And Forrest putting an anxious wall of five, six men there. Bajevic and uh, Nicolodis. It's an indirect free kick. And that was Mavros. And Shilton's angry. Shilton really angry as he came off his line and shouted at... Larry Lloyd leads out Nottingham Forest. The teams come out together to a good reception from a crowd approaching 40,000. This, the first visit of an overseas side to the city ground Nottingham in European competition for 11 years. And Ferenc Puskas, one of the legendary figures of world football, takes his seat on the bench. Puskas, who played for Hungary at Wembley 25 years ago this month in the match the Hungarians won 6-3 against England and then wrote his name all over the European Cup, first as a player with Real Madrid and then as manager of the Greek club Panathinaikos, who reached the final at Wembley in 1971. 
and maybe that support is also for Brian Clough. So often he's complained here about the crowds, and this is only the third time this season that the Forest have had more than 30,000 people inside the ground. And for a club that have lost only one of their last 57 competitive matches, that isn't a particularly good attendance record. Sort of thing, I suppose, that makes club think twice about Sunderland's offer, but his team tonight is weakened by the absence of Barrett, McGovern and O'Neill, all injured, although O'Neill will be on the bench for an emergency, and Ken Burns, who's suspended. So in the defence, David Needham plays alongside Larry Lloyd. John O'Hare is in midfield with Bowyer and Archie Gemmell, who passed a late fitness test. The news of the Athens team is that Vieira, the Uruguayan who was sent off in the first leg, is suspended. They've replaced him at number 10 there with Dematsos, the famous 36-year-old Greek international who missed the first leg after a row with the manners of psychology by Brian Clough to make him skipper after the row between them recently. Missouris for Athens. He's got Tassos number 7 outside him. Away by Viv Anderson. 10 there chasing is Dematsos. Mavros, the danger man. Very left-footed. Dematsos again. Tassos. Nikoludis. Tackle by Clark. Dematsos. Nikoludis. Tassos. For nine. Dematsos. Number eight is Nikoludis, the main schemer. Looking for Tassos, who he got behind Frank Clark. Mavros! Well, Athens may regret missing that. Wasn't on Mavros's best foot, it's true. Shilton annoyed because from the throw-in, Forrest seemed to lose concentration. Tassos got behind Frank Clark and crossed, and Mavros, as you can see, uh, Tassos was behind the defence, and Mavros, on his right foot, just screwed his shot across the goal. and here's Bajevic. Dematsos. Ardi Zoglu, number six. Haven't seen too much of him tonight. Nikolai. Mazuris. Nikoludis. Here's Bajevic. That's quite good play by the Greeks, and a chance here if Mavros can get a shot in. But he's not having the best of luck in front of goal tonight, Mavros. Forrest have been absent from Europe for 11 years, and the crowd enjoying being back. They were in the old Fairs Cup way back in 1967. Good challenge by Loy, but here's Nikolaou looking for Mavros. Mavros and Anderson. And again, and Mavros away this time. Bajevic waiting for the cross. Far post, header by him, and they get one back. Bajevic the scorer, the tall man there, who got a hat-trick for Yugoslavia in the 74 World Cup against Zaire that I saw at Gelsenkirchen and one of the goals very similar to that. The ball he drives on the high cross to the far post and Bajevic up over his marker and Shilton given no chance. So, beware of Greeks bearing... Nikolai up. Mavros. And Athens here with a break to the right. To Marksos and to the left now with two players free. 
There's Andy Soglu. The one two played rather wide on the return. Pajovic still waiting at the far post for the orthodox cross, and there he is again. Giving Needham quite a... Nikoludis. Navros just drifting into the penalty area on this side. That's Mazuris. Out to Bajovic. Good control. Turn back again for Mazuris. Couldn't quite get his shot in. And away by Anderson as far as Nikoludis. Now Bajovic. Artizoglu offside, I would think there. Mavros puts it in. I would think there's an offside. The linesman's flagging. And although the referee points to the centre, the offside decision stands. Artizoglu there will be upset about that. I think he may have been offside to start with. Watch the ball come over here. There's an offside decision against a Greek player. Mavros in the middle. It could have been. It could have been Artizoglu who touched the ball first. But Mavros put the ball in. And one of those two was offside.